Hi guys, my name is Isaac and I am Chef Dev and today I've got something a little bit different. Thomas on YouTube has asked me if I could make a gun with a visual counter on it for the amount of ammo you have remaining. Similar to what is seen in David RB's game Arcadian Rift. So I reckon I can do this in less than 10 minutes. Um, and I'm gonna try to do that for you today and I'm gonna try to narrate as much as possible. Oh shit, sorry. Narrate, <laughs> I'm gonna try to narrate this as much as possible um, so that you guys can see how it's done. I think it's gonna be quite easy and it's gonna be sort of like in Frenzy's 10 minute modeling challenge, but it's gonna be like a 10 minute feature challenge, 10 minute coding challenge. I don't know what to call it, but I'm gonna give it a go. If you have any ideas for anything else you think that I can do, um, drop them down in the comments and uh, let's get into it. I'll give you a quick visual of the kind of thing we're looking for. This is David RB's game, um, Arcadian Rift. You can see he's got a number clearly displayed on his gun and when he shoots it, the number decreases. So this is pretty straightforward and I think we can do that. Um, I've cheated a little bit and I've gone and selected a model that has an appropriate uh, piece of mesh that we can put this on otherwise I think it would take me a little bit longer and I'm gonna start the timer three two one okay so the first thing we want to do is uh, create a couple of seams on this mesh here one two three four um, press U we're gonna mark seam and then we're gonna select everything and unwrap the project doesn't really matter where everything else goes we don't really care because we're just interested in this square i'm going to make sure that constraint to image bounds is turned on drag this to the center and scale it i scaled it negatively that's not what we want scale it up although it probably doesn't matter Alrighty, so save that's good enough we're going to create a new material and we're going to call it something like uv counter doesn't really matter what we call it because it's not going to come through okay and now we know that's there cool okay file we're going to export this as a gltf okay so the we're going to call this arcadian ripoff because that's what i'm doing i'm going to go into this folder and export the gltf i'm going to go back to my project and it should be there Okay, so the first thing I want to do is just um, take a copy of my gun here and save this scene as. I'm just going to cheat a little bit because you have got to do this quickly, boys. Cadian Riff Rip Off. I'm sure you've got a gun. If you've got a gun and you're at this stage um, and you're trying to do this, you've already got to that part. So we're going to call this Arcadian Rip Rip Off. Arrow for short. Save it. I'm going to rename it. Arrow. I'm going to come over here and rename the UID. Everything else can stay the same for now. I'm gonna to need to move the bullet point out and the shell out, which means I'm also going to need to change my code, otherwise this is gonna crash. And I'm gonna delete the mesh. The collision shape, I'm just gonna to change to a square because ours isn't gonna look like that anymore. Yeah, my gun's a physics body, so I've got a video on it. It's dumb, I'm changing it. Okay, so we're going to add the mesh now. Plaster G, I'm gonna make it local and I'm gonna drag it out of here and delete the, the parent. Okay, it is facing the wrong way. Let's flip it around and move it to the left and move it forward a bit. Just to check, I'm gonna open up the player and drag it onto the weapon. Okay, that looks pretty good. So coming back around here, we're going to need to create a viewport and I'm gonna make it um, maybe 100 by 100. Might be too small. They're probably, yeah, I don't know. And we're gonna put a label on it. And that label, we're gonna write uh, 99 to begin with. Um, we're also going to need probably a canvas layer is a better place to start. Put the label in that. I'm gonna drag this to this so I can actually see what I'm working on. 
Um, this is going to need to be center, this isn't going to need to be center, the layout will need to be full rect, and for the theme overrides, I'm going to need a font, I've got one here, Oswald Trez, alright, um, I'm going to make unique, and set the font size to 60, make it a little bit bigger, and then drag that back in, okay, over on the mesh, we're going, oh, actually before I forget, on the render target, V flip, so that it's up the right way, so then we're going to come back over to the mesh, and we're going to find surface number 5, um, actually we'll go down here on the materials, create a new material, spatial material, resource, make it local to scene, and then on the albedo, we're going to uh, create a new viewport texture and assign this viewport here, 99, how cool is that? Okay, we probably want to have a colored background, I'm going to add a colored rec to that, um, and that's annoying, <laughs> pull this back out, and I just can't go without these menu controls, they're just so good. Um, I'm just going to make this like green or something, oh black, black's fine, okay and then put that back, alrighty nice and clear there, um, so we're going to need to put a script on that, we're going to call it viewport, we'll just call it counter, and we'll need to get access, how much time I've got, four minutes, I'm ready, var, counter label, and that's going to be equal to the label. Um, and that's all we need. I'm going to create a function called count ammo, something like that. And it's going to take a number, we'll call it int. And just because I know that what I'm going to, because I've looked up my, my gun class already, the signal that I'm going to emit actually emits two values. Um, this one is capacity, but it's not the kind of capacity that we need, so it's going to be there. I'm just going to put an underscore because we're not going to use it. Okay, so what I want to do is essentially just take that counter label and I want to set text and I want to use string and number because this number that my signal emits is actually an int. Okay, so that's all I need for that. Back over in my gun script, I need to actually emit this signal. I need to connect it to the viewport and emit the signal. I've got a gun class, and so if you if you've got a gun and you're already you know updating an ammo counter on your HUD, then you can just use that signal, like I've had to do. I've had to sort of adapt this code on the viewport because I know that signal emits um, two things, so I'm going to emit um, the ammo and the capacity, but I only need the ammo. So over in the ready, I'm actually going to grab that gun counter. Actually before I do anything here, I've got to remember to save this script. I've got 2 minutes 54 to go. Save as. Um, this is in such a bad spot, I've got to fix that. Weapon, primary. Cadian rip riff off rifle. We'll go with that. <laughs> it's going to be confusing. Um, I don't know if that's going to stuff things up actually. <laughs> Doesn't matter. We only got two minutes left. And we've got the viewport counter shit equals viewport. And on the ready, we're going to. Um, we're going to connect ammo update to the viewport counter and we're going to call count ammo and then right after I'm going to emit the signal ammo update and hopefully that's all I need um, I've got it on the character already so we can just straight up test this let's give it a go How cool is that? 
quite that easy. Uh, hi guys, Isaac from the future here. I'm just gonna cut in and uh, talk over myself. I did this and I, I went on to try and add color to the gun's background so that it would be um, green when it was full and red when it was empty but I wasn't able to figure it out when I was filming this and I didn't want to sit there and try and figure it out so I just stopped recording but I've I've gone ahead and, and fixed that up now so I've got um, a really simple single line that gets the job done so it's just color counter dot color equals capital C color and then the math in there to make it so that when the gun is empty red the color red which is that first one um, max cap minus number divided by max cap um, is equal to one and um, number divided by max cap is when the ammo is full that will be one too so essentially i i sort of did this the shorthand way like if you were doing this um, for real you'd probably have your maximum ammo capacity fed in from the gun that you were actually using so you do that programmatically but here i've just put max cap equals 20 because i happen to know that so it's just as an example i would suggest definitely doing that a little bit better actually why don't i go ahead and do that this is just a little bit of <laughs> Of a more proper way of doing things I think. Um, I've set max cap to be a default of one because obviously you don't want to be dividing by zero that's going to throw an error but um, everything else remains the same. Um, I won't go into in depth but if you want to be able to change the color this is a way that you can do that so um, there that is. Uh, um, anyway back to the past version of myself. This has been sort of like a new thing that I thought I'd try. It's kind of fun, you know, see if I can put something in um, in 10 minutes or less. Um, if there's anything else that you want me to try and do as like a challenge, maybe we can uh, make it a thing that I do like every month or so. Just sit down and see if I can do something quickly um, that I've never tried to do before, you know. Uh, I've got a lot of experience with viewports, so I knew exactly what to do um, to make this work. So it was probably, I cherry picked this request um, because I knew I could do it really quick. Uh, but if you've got other challenges, I'm definitely open to it because I thought this was a lot of fun. Um, I hope you guys learned something. Um, just to recap, essentially you need a viewport, well, you need a mesh that's been unwrapped you know to to hold a viewport texture on it like this and then you just need a viewport with a label on it and essentially just emit a signal from your gun um, and use that signal on your viewport to update this the actual ammo counter so if you've got a gun and you're already feeding that into a, uh, a HUD like I am already um, this is super easy to implement because you're already halfway there. So I've got this here that is already being updated. You know, I just hooked that up to this and went with that. And you can do a bunch more fancy things like you could hook up a shader, probably a little bit more complicated than I have and obviously with numbers that work because mine don't. Um, but, you know, you get what I'm trying to go for. Um, but yeah. So that's been it, um, hope this has been fun, I'll see you in the next video.